Greetings, I am Goldenwing, and you are watching episode two of my Let's Play Space Engineer series. Now last time, we uh, were just getting settled here. We uh, landed our atmospheric lander, which I tore down between episodes. As, uh, as I pointed out, I was gonna do that. Took a little bit of time, not too bad, certainly with those upgraded tools. Um, yes, yes, waving. So, the upgraded, or the proficient welder, um, made short work of that, and I uh, dropped all of the parts and pieces into our cargo container here. Um, I also went ahead and tossed the um, scrap metal in the refinery, um, and turned it into uh, iron ingots. So that's great. Uh, now there are a few things um, to touch up here. We had arranged um, three conveyors to sit inside the floor, and I want to hook those up um, so that the uh, different parts of the base here can transfer items. So I'll have one of those there. I want you like that, and then we'll just run some piping between those, like so. That should allow um, the cargo container to transfer items to the refinery, um, and uh, I like that. Excellent. Now the next thing I want to do is to run one more pipe out here, uh, and where did I put that? There. I want to get a uh, connector over here. Any luck, we're going to need that uh, later today. There we go. Nice. So what that means is I should be able to open up this cargo container and find our assembler. And I can move things um, directly through. That's going to help a lot. Um, now, so we've got a bit of a base, um, power, and uh, some supplies. But we don't have a real good means of collecting them, short of me doing it by hand, which uh, is not the most exciting thing to do. So let's see if we can fix that. Gonna need a landing gear. And block. Now, what I'm actually gonna do, build this up a little bit. And over. Whoops. Not like that. You might be thinking that's a funny looking ship, and I would agree with you. That's a funny looking ship. I'm gonna love that together. Gotta love that proficient welder. Um, that's because that's not the ship. That's just going to give us a stable platform to build on. That's all I'm looking to do right now. Um, now, I wanna get a welding ship. Or excuse me, welding. I wanna get a drill ship. That's what I want. Um, so, I believe I want to put these in this way. Let's go get the materials for that. Medium cargo container should suffice. I think that'll work. That'll give us some storage. Uh, we are going to need to get a drill on that. So, one of these uh, conveyor converters, which is part of our one of our mods takes, I can show you, that large side um, and sticks a bunch of small points on the end. That's what we're looking for. So the drill we're going to use has just that small port. So that should allow our drill to hook up. Now, when we talk about thrusters, there are three types of thrusters in this game. There's ion thrusters, which don't work inside an atmosphere, uh, or effectively don't work. Um, they're great in space, but other than that, they're not the best. Um, there's atmospheric thrusters, which would be fantastic, but uh, we'd have to power them. Um, and then there's hydrogen thrusters, which uh, have a fantastic... Uh, uh, power ratio. They're, they're very strong. They just require fuel. Uh, luckily, we are sitting on a lake of ice, 
So I'm going to go with uh, hydrogen thrusters for for this drill ship. Um, now where did I put that tank? There. So let's get a. Uh, that's not a tank. That's a drill. That that is a tank. Okay. Now that we can identify what parts are which, let's put that down there, uh, and we'll go grab the the bits for it. Um, that one. Okay. Is that what I want? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Let's uh, just real quickly move our support over. And we can get rid of this part. Just a, an arm to hold it there. Um, so, that'll give us storage and a place to put our fuel. Um, we are going to need build a bunch of connectors or conveyors. I always confuse those two. Um, so, what I want to do here. I'm going to take just thinking here Not the type Not the X yeah the five I think that's what I want I'll put that over here I'm gonna get the thrusters put on and we're gonna need to pipe those up um, now there should be, yep, this four-way. Kind of got the uh, an idea in my head as to how this looks. Is that right? Well, it'll do. It'll be fine. Um, let's get some corners. Is that what I want? Thrusters pointing that way. Two down. Two back. Two up. You might think pointing thrusters up is a bit superfluous in gravity, but uh, the way I'm going to use this drill ship, it's going to get all sorts of disoriented underground. Uh, so I want equal thrust in every direction. <clears throat> right we can get those under there yeah yeah that looks good let's do that over here only if I could figure out which toolbar I was using Oops. do this the fact that these have extra points on them really don't make any difference other than aesthetically
put on thrusters here. Wow, really? That's just not even close. Two up here. Two like that. <clears throat> Two like that. Now, we're also going to want... Let's do the, uh, not that one. T section will do fine. Only if I could rotate it the correct way. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Yep. And like that. And like that. And we'll grab the corner. This. Like that. And then we'll put our thrusters here and here, there, and there. And then we'll duplicate that piping layout on the top as well. That'll give us four thrusters facing in every direction. Yeah, so we'll grab our uh, T section here. We'll stick it on the top like this, and then like that. Corner, corner. Okay, let me get all that welded up and I'll be right back. And there we are. Well, that was easy. Been welding all through the night. So I got the um, all the thrusters welded up. I did put a bit of uh, some light armor plating in areas just to give it a bit of uh, skinning. I moved our brace over a little bit. But. Uh, so that's looking good. Uh, so we've got thrusters, we've got a uh, tank, and we've got a bit of storage. Uh, we don't have any power, which is a problem. We are going to need a bit. Um, so I'm going to put a small reactor here. And uh, I'm going to take... Well, we really don't have much, do we? Let's take half of what we've got. craziness. And we'll put it in here. And then we'll find the reactor. We'll just turn it off for now. That'll get a little uranium in the reactor. Now we're sitting on top of, if I remember right, a uranium deposit. So we'll just go mine uranium first. That'll be easy. Um, but without power uh, in the reactor, or uranium rather, uh, we can't actually push more uranium through the conveyors, which I'm about to put in place. So that's why we needed to put just a little bit in first. Um, now let's see. That goes there. Okay. So that gives us a little power. Um, next, I want to add... Uh, oxygen generators. Now we have a mod that gives us, um, I can't remember what toolbar I was on, there it is, a, say a small version of the standard oxygen generator. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use those. We'll toss one there. I don't over here. There's no reason at all to have two or any really. We could just dock it and fuel it that way, but why not? So that'll give us the ability to process ice and uh, turn it into fuel. Now we're going to need to control this thing. 
Um, and if you'll notice, I haven't put a cockpit on it. So we're going to use a remote control. And then I'm going to stick a camera right on the front. Oh, that looks good. What else do we need? Uh, we're going to need an antenna. Let's stick him there. And then we're going to want an ore detector. Mistaken. Yeah, there's our problem. We're short five detector components. So, got a solution for that. Here's our assembler. Now, we've got everything we need to make the detector. You can see it, it takes 1.67 iron and 5 nickel to make one. So we need 25 nickel. That's what we're short. We've got the iron. Um, now motors take nickel and iron to make. And we have a ton of them from those huge atmospherics off the lander. So if I put this into disassemble mode and have it tear apart these 100 motors, look, it'll give us a ton of nickel which is exactly what we need. So that's even way more than we... You can stop. Oh, see, it pulled in more. <laughs> um, there we go. So and then we can make our five, six detector components. So if you get yourself stuff like that, you can tear uh, some components apart f to uh, break them down. Um, and let's add these guys here. Yeah, that's nice. We'll do that. Actually, here, let's do this. Get this one. There we go. Okay, so we've got an antenna, we've got an ore detector, we've got a remote control. Um, I'm going to put the connector on the back. Do that now. Well, we don't have any landing gear. That's probably an issue. Um, let's do this. We've got mag pads. So these are sort of like landing gear. Um, which one do I want to do? That doesn't much make a difference. Yeah, cool. Let's grab. Sure, that's fine. One of these would have been sufficient, but we'll just put a few on. Yeah, that looks good. Connector on the back. Oh, small steel tubes. Excellent. Now, let's see if we can't steal maybe 5,000 of our ice here. We'll toss that in. The oxygen generator, which I'll write power. Remember what I was saying about the conveyor system doesn't work unless the reactor is on? Why can I not find the reactor? Yeah, as it turns out, the conveyor system doesn't work unless the reactor is on. So. Grab all of the thrusters. Put 
them into a group called thrusters and then hide them. Take all the maglock surfaces. Those into a group called gear and we'll hide those. been yelling at me because we don't have any gyros because we don't have any gyros whoops uh, alt left or er, alt right click to put everything away right click right click right click right click to extract resources for four of them same way but I'll get over it so we want to hide those now this is weird but even though we only have one drill we we do want to put it in a group or at least I do um, this is cameras facing the front might not might be nice to have a camera facing the docking port. When we're lining up, we can see something. could share, you know. Goodness. Aha, there we go. Climb, climb, climb. Cool. So that'll fill up our tanks. Not much, but admittedly, we didn't put very much in, so that's not bad. Okay, we've got thrusters in every direction. We've got something that suffices as landing gear, gyros. We've got a remote. We've got an antenna. We've got cameras. We don't have any lights. Do we need lights? We probably want a light, don't we? Um, yeah, we'll be fine. So, what we should be able to do is to come into remote, we should take control of it, and then go into here again, which is weird. Let's change this to, um, the mole. Uh, can we type, maybe? and tools, we want to grab the drill. But out of groups, we want to grab the group of drills so we can toggle them on and off. I also would like a camera in the front, a camera in the back. I want to be able to turn the ore detector on and off. Anything else? Let's 
put the thruster group over here. And the... Oh, I know what I'm missing. Yeah, that's fine. Put the landing gear here, switch lock. Need the connector. Where'd it go? Switch lock. So. Turn the ore detector off. Let's find our real landing gear, because that's the temporary one. I'll unlock that. Lift up just a bit. Now. Always making a lot of noise. to drop this down to those mag locks on auto lock there it'll catch okay sweet so we have something that that suffices as a drill ship fantastic let's remote into this again I wanted to check your antenna yeah let's increase his broadcast radius so the antenna broadcasts for 5,000 meters. That means we need to make sure um, that we keep uh, the drill within 5,000 meters of our player until we're able to build an antenna here. Um, so let's unlock the gear. Lift up. Let's look through the camera. Nice. I think we ran out of hydrogen. So what happened? <laughs> I think the landing gear saved us. Those mag pads. That's amazing. It's a good idea. Your tanks are empty. How much you want to bet? Yep, tanks are empty. Do we have any... Um, we do still have uranium. Okay. I am going to mine up some ice real quick. I'll be right back. That's better. 100% full. Uh, and we have the oxygen generators full of ice. And I also added two small cargo containers. One off this side and one off that side. And I filled them with ice. So... Let me say we give this another try. We go into remote, take control, and turn the thrusters on. I had them off for preservation. Unlock the gear. Left click will collect. Should be getting a ton of. And how's our tanks doing? Just because I'm curious. Going down, but okay. Let's kind of collect some of this ice here. Now right click should clear a larger path.
So with this, we'll be able to get a bunch more materials, more than I could carry by hand. Uh, and it will certainly make a better drill ship. Uh, this is just something that worked with, for the most part, all the resources we had, save apparently a bit of ice. Um, but so what I'll do is um, I'll go mine up a uh, round of silver and whatever else is in the area. Definitely some of this uranium because we're going to need fuel. Um, and uh, maybe in the next episode or two we'll uh, go ahead and uh, build a much better ship. Something maybe uh, run off atmospheric engines so we won't have to worry about hydrogen. Um, maybe even something we can ride in. There we go. Now we should be getting hit two. That'll lock the drills to mine. There we go. Now we're getting a bunch of uranium. How's our tanks doing? Let's look at that. Running low. Alright. That's cool. We'll uh, level those off. Right click. Always a good idea to right click when you're going back up. And uh, just make sure you know, it just helps that you don't run into this side there. So I'm just going to get our ship up here. Under the ice. Turn those drills back on. Now we'll collect ice. my landing gear. <laughs> there we go. Thrusters off. Nice. 3k of uranium. How's our tanks doing? Filling up. So it looks like we don't have quite as much um, generation as we do um, carrying capacity for ice. So that's easy to fix. There we are. So thank you very much. Uh, I will uh, do a bunch of mining between this episode and next, and I uh, hope you all have a good one. We'll see you next episode.